This is Fushigi. And there's a few things that you should know about your Fushigi ball. First, is that before you attempt any sort of the manipulations that you'll see us doing today, you should watch the DVD and learn because the ball does not float on its own. You'll need to learn some very simple fundamentals before you can create the illusion of levitation and gravity defiance. Fushigi makes it possible to create the illusion of levitation through simple motion. And it's only possible because this clear, refined surface, there's no tell marks to be able to see how the sphere is moving while we manipulate it. Fushigi is actually the first consumer product for contact juggling. We hope that you embrace it and hone your skills. You're about to embark on an amazing journey and become part of the legacy of contact juggling through practice with your Fushigi ball. Here's one of the basic maneuvers of contact juggling with your Fushigi ball. This is known as a simple isolation, an isolation being where something is kept still in space. Now what I'm doing is moving my hand around the ball, not the ball around my hand. And there's three very simple motions to make this possible. You put it in front of your collarbone or in front of your chest, move your hand up in front of the sphere, then down the side, your palm is still facing the audience, and three, you twist to the beginning. Again, that's up, side, twist. And by going through these motions with a little bit of practice, you can create the illusion of levitation. And that's a very simple isolation. And as long as the ball remains still in space, you can move anywhere around it and maintain that illusion. And that's the illusion of levitation. One of the simplest isolations is the enigma, which looks like this. And it's possible while keeping the ball still or while moving it in a plane. The steps to learning the Enigma start like this. You put it in, comfortably in the palm of your hand, the other hand on top, move it up a thumb and forefinger. You have to keep pressure on the ball in order to keep it to stay between your fingers. You switch which thumb and pointers are on the ball and roll it back down. We're back to right where we started and we begin again. You simply move it up your thumb and pointer finger, switch, and back down. The ball actually seems to be rolling in this direction because it keeps switching the contact points with your hand. But instead of rolling, we create that illusion as the Fushigi ball is held in space. And that's the enigma. Here's wringing the towel. With your acrylic on top of your fist, Put the other hand on top, move it to the bottom, and then gently glide the ball across your fingers. And the motion's kind of reminiscent of wringing a towel. You can also stay there, and the illusion is still sound as you're doing the wringing the towel. And that's wringing the towel. Next, we're gonna teach you this, which I call an ice cream ascension. And it's kind of a silly name because, well, when I'm holding it like this, it reminds me of an ice cream cone. And you can do that in both hands, just moving it from pinky up to the fist of your hand. And if you do that, you can make the ball rise up. Or an, an ice cream cone isolation, where it stays still in space. And that's the ice cream cone ascension and levitation. Next, we'll start our body rolling series, which includes hand rolling as well as arm rolling. The series begins by forming a cradle on the back of your hand. I do this by putting one of my fingers down and resting the ball there gently. That's called a three-finger cradle. There's also a two-finger cradle or a Vulcan cradle. And all of them are, work just as well to learn the wiper. The way that you learn this is by tossing the ball gently into the air and then catching in the palm of your hand. And then the harder, ver harder part, throwing it, pointing at it, and catching it back on the cradle. Even with a slight toss, this is training you to be proficient at catching the Fushigi ball on the back of your hand. 
Once you've achieved the toss, then you let the ball just roll gently over your hand to the cradle and back to the palm. Now you're doing the wiper. Don't neglect to learn everything also with your off hand. Then you'll be able to switch between the two to really create some amazing effects. Next, we're gonna learn with our Fushiki ball how to do the cradle to palm and the palm to the cradle. And the moves happen exactly the way they're named. We're gonna do the wiper to the cradle, place it in the palm of your other hand, and then wiper back, cradle to palm, cradle to palm. And you wanna practice this until there's a smooth transition from one to the other. Once you have that, reverse directions. Now we're gonna do the palm to the cradle. Windshield wiper and back. Palm to cradle, palm to cradle. Now you've learned the palm to cradle and cradle to palm. For those of you wanting to have a bit more of a challenge, you can try the half pipe, which is a very difficult maneuver that takes a bit of practice. What you do is you start with it on the tips of your fingers, move it to the palm of your hand, then to a cradle, to the opposite cradle, to the palm, and back up. Repeating these motions, and you're trying to create a fluidity of motion. So the ball seems to be moving on a track of its own, as if it was in a half pipe. And that's the half pipe. Here's a simple trick. This is called the finger flip. And what we're going to do is make the ball jump, move your finger around it, and catch it back on the palm of your hand. It looks like this. It's very quick, very easy. Deceptively so, it will take a little bit of practice. And that's going from the ice cream cone position to the cradle, almost around your finger. We can do the same move in reverse then we call it the Pilf Regniff. For those of you who like spelling, that's finger flip in reverse. So now you've learned the finger flip and the Pilf Regniff. Next, I'll be teaching you a prayer pass or a prayer hold. You get into this position simply by having the Fushigi on the tips of your fingers, putting your hands together and squeezing gently. The ball should rise to the top and you precariously balance it on the tips of your fingers. From this, you can do a simple prayer pass, which is where it's actually handed from one palm to the other, simply from my right palm to my left and back. Or the true prayer pass, from one cradle all the way across to the other. And that's a prayer pass. Also from the prayer hold, we can do what's called a Venus flytrap. And what happens is you drop the ball to one palm, do a palm to palm transfer, and back up to that prayer hold. You can keep it going there, and the motion reminds us of a Venus flytrap. That's the Venus flytrap. Next, we're gonna teach you how to do string pulls and pushes with your Fushigi ball. Anytime that you have your Fushigi doing a simple levitation, you can pretend to grab a string and pull gently to a new area or very quick. At the same time, you can also push it up, down, side to side. It creates a whole new dynamic element to your Fushigi manipulation. And those are string pulls and pushes. Next, we're gonna teach you palm spinning, which is the act of spinning two or more fushigi in your hand. And it's actually simpler than it looks. You simply find a place that you can comfortably hold two fushigi balls and switch them from one place to the other. It doesn't matter whether you learn it clockwise or counterclockwise, but also try it the opposite direction. Once you can make it switch once, you can make it switch twice, three times, and then create it as a continuous motion to create a flawless Fushigi palm spin. This is the isolation palm spin, and it's built from doing exactly what we did with two. 
Once you have two balls rolling in your palm, you isolate one by moving one hand, your hand in a circular direction and making the rotation of one ball be absolutely nothing. That creates the illusion of levitation. This is a two ball orbital isolation. Next is our palm spin isolation. And this isolation takes a little bit of practice to get used to. I start by holding it over my pinky, move it to my pointer, to my thumb, to the palm of my hand, and back to the beginning. By following these steps, you're creating a circle in the palm of your hand. And once you have this circle down reasonably well, then you move your hand in the same circle. And by doing so, you cancel out the motion of the Pushigi ball and you create the isolation we call the palm spin isolation. The next isolation we're gonna learn, I call the spin doctor. And it's this neat little trick that looks like this. And all you're doing is keeping the ball between the palms of your hands, holding tension so the ball doesn't fall. You're gonna press slightly and bring it around one hand back to the starting position and then around the other, keeping that same tension to keep the ball there. If the ball moves, then you have a neat little effect. But since I'm a big fan of these isolations, you can do it and keep the ball still in space. You can add little embellishments where you go up and down your arms. Or you can do the entire spin doctor on your wrists. There's the spin doctor. We're gonna teach you the UFO. This one's a little out of this world. And all that you do is take your fushigi, put it in a diamond shape between your hands, and you kind of press on it so it can't fall out. And then you simply move your arms, rotating around the ball, either to the front or you can reverse. You can even go up and down. And if it starts to slip, you can correct it. And that creates the illusion of the UFO. That's unidentified Fushigi object. What you can learn to do with Fushigi is limitless. Once you've mastered everything on this DVD, you can even learn to palm spin three balls, make a four ball pyramid, and even do the chop. You can do curls up your arm or a twist. With patience and diligence, you can master Fushigi. Probably one of the most difficult Fushigi executions you have ever seen. Prepare yourselves for the caterpillar. Yeah. Wait, 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 it gets better. The squid. And for a limited time only, available on this DVD, the jellyfish. While some of the tricks might look similar, each one takes a little bit of practice and you can be amazing your friends with evil, even simple manipulations. Next, we're gonna teach you a difficult body roll called a chest roll, because I'm gonna be rolling the ball on my chest. It also helps to have already mastered arm rolls forward and back on both hands, because we're gonna be attempting this. You see, the first part is that first arm roll that we learned going up, and then your offhand going down. What we're gonna do is guide the ball to our elbow, Catch it on the shoulder, push it across the chest, and guide it down the other hand. This will take a few attempts to learn, but with practice, you can do a chest roll. Yeah, there it is. Perfect. There's a chest roll. Now that you've seen what's possible with your Fushigi ball, you can take all the manipulations that we've learned and put them together into your own sort of performance. 
you can do the simple isolations into more complex routines, as well as all the body rolling that you've seen us do. You can invent your own tricks. Ooh. The possibilities with Fushigi are endless.